All right, guys, so it's Saturday morning, and we are, Brad and I are on our way. We've got matching shirts. Proceed mom got to us. The route. Uh, or mom got Brad that shirt, At the stop right? sign, turn yeah. right onto South Kings Highway. Okay, hold on. She's going crazy. Oh. I'm waiting forever for these people over here. Mom got you that shirt. Happy birthday, right? Proceed to the yeah. route. And then I got a matching shirt. Turn course. right, then turn left. Anyway, so then I got a matching shirt, so we have shirts. We decided to wear them the same day. Turn right, then turn left. Oh, gosh, this woman, I gotta turn her down. Anyway. So we're heading to Charleston today. Lots of people said Charleston is really nice, so it's only two hours away from Myrtle Beach, so we're gonna drive there. Just Brad and I, Marco didn't wanna go, so he's back at the hotel. So we're heading there now, it's two hours away. We stopped getting something to, for breakfast at McDonald's, and then there's a Duck Donuts right here, which I've heard so much about Duck Donuts, but we don't have one in Kansas City, and I've never seen one before, so I'm gonna go in here and get I just want to get like one donut and see what they have to try it out since we're right we're over here by one I've never seen one before. So it's super busy. It must be really popular. Okay, so we don't want to wait that long in that line because we want to get on the road. So think it was that busy until we got in there <laughs> so anyway we'll probably we might come here tomorrow or Monday we have to check out the hotel Monday at 10 a.m. but our flight doesn't leave till 4 we have a rental car till 3 so maybe we can come by here Monday or something before you leave so anyway now we're headed to Charleston so we're just getting into Charleston it's up ahead I can see the two bridges up here. I forget what it's called, but it's a famous bridge here in Charleston. Bridge is what it is. It's the I hate bridges. <laughs> Brad doesn't like bridges. I should have pulled over and drove. Oh you can get in the middle lane. In two miles, take the exit onto Morrison Drive toward East Bay Street. Two miles? This is a two mile bridge. This better not be a two mile bridge. Like there's land right over here. At the light, use the right lane to turn onto Morrison Drive. So we just got off the bridge. My battery died right in the middle of the bridge, so I didn't get a film press of the bridge. It wasn't two miles. My butt. It wasn't that long. <laughs> So now we are in downtown Charleston. One of our, Turn right. our friend and subscriber, Bree, she messaged me and was telling me about different places in, in Charleston. Half a mile, turn left onto Williamon Street. She gave me a name of a restaurant, so I just typed that restaurant in, this downtown, and then that's where we're going to. I don't know if we're going to eat there right now, because we just had breakfast not too long ago, but we might just drive around for a while. I figured it would get us in the vicinity of where we're wanting to go. On your right, 126 Williamon Street. So this is, this is the restaurant. It's called Home Team Barbecue. 
She said that was a must. Smells really good. So now I guess we're just gonna drive around somewhere down here and just look around, I guess. It rained on the way here, all of a sudden it just started raining and then it cleared up and it rained again, kind of like how it is in Florida, just spotty showers. So this is a little cool area we're in, getting ready to go light, down, to the, onto Meeting Street. down to the market downtown. City market here. So we just thought we'd get some pizza for lunch. They have this pizza by the slice place over here. So we got. I got a slice of pepperoni, Brad got supreme, and they're huge. It's probably like three pieces and one a big old piece maybe. But it's thin crust. But they're really big, looks really good though. Hi guys, you see me on my phone a lot, but it's because I'm checking on my sister. I don't know if you all see, but my sister Tammy, my younger sister Tammy, was diagnosed with stage four pancreas cancer. That's what my mom passed away of. And so, I'm on vacation worrying about her. <laughs> but I'm making the best of it, and she's doing pretty good so far. And we have a GoFundMe set up if you guys wanna help. I'm not saying you have to, but if you wanna help, you can go to um, our Facebook page, our YouTube Facebook page, and I put it on there. Yeah, and we'll, and we'll put the link below too. Yes. In the description box. So now, we just finished lunch. We didn't eat at the barbecue place we showed you first because it's a little bit further over from where <clears throat> the downtown market is and we paid for parking here. We thought we paid for six hours, but we hit the, hit the wrong four button. Hours. Now we paid for eight hours. Yeah, we thought we paid for four, but clicked the wrong button and then it, we paid $12 for eight hours. So we have plenty of time over here, so we didn't want to leave and go all over there. I mean, it wasn't that far away, but. We just grabbed that pizza real quick here. And then uh, we plan to try to go down to the, uh, what was that called? The, um, hold on a second. I had a look at my phone. It's blurry. Sorry, I had a look at my phone to see what it was. It's Shim Creek. They have a place down there by the water and you can eat down there and there's a restaurant down there. So I think we'll do that um, later after we leave here. 
there's a place back here where they keep some of the horses and the carriages where they hose the horses and stuff. Have fans back there. And then up here, they have three different carriage places all on this street here. So we kind of want to get there a little early so we can try to get towards the middle of the carriage. That way it's not quite as sunny. And we'll have a little more shade in the middle part of it. pedestrians and all that kind of stuff because my number one goal is to have safety right and uh, so oftentimes if I'm at a busy intersection or maybe we're gonna drive past a jackhammer or something like that I'll start paying attention to my horse to make sure that we get through all that safely for sure now I want you guys to to um, ask any questions that you have at all a lot of people get nervous and are afraid to ask questions but honestly, when you start asking questions, it does become, tends to, tends to be a better carriage tour that way. Robert Small. He was an enslaved person down in Beaufort, South Carolina, which is just 60 miles south of us. He was a house slave. But then his owners decided they could make a lot more money bringing him to Charleston and having him work on all the ships. So he just did a house tour. It was really, really cool to look at all the things inside this house tour. What was this one called? The Hayward Washington. The Hayward Washington house. And then they have the little kitchen out here. They used to be the kitchen in the back. The kitchen and then the, the laundry. And with sleep upstairs. Yeah. And the gardens out here. The garden and then the stalls. That's the stalls. So pretty out here. You're welcome. All right, so now we are at. I can't remember the name of this place. It's Saltwater Cowboys, but it's over at. Uh, I'll think of it in a minute here and let you know. It's supposed. To, it's over here at the place that I can't remember. Hold on and let me look it up, and I'll tell you. So it's Shem Creek is where we're at. Shem Creek. So we have about 45 to 55 minute wait for a table, but they have like ships and everything and boats out here. Not ships, but boats. Oh, I guess they're kind of ships, little ships. And I think you could take a sunset ride. We're gonna have to check into that because that'd be cool to take one out there. They have a live band too. Okay, so we got our table right here by the water over here. Now we're just waiting to uh, place our order. So we got our appetizers, a can of nachos. They bring them out in a can, and then they just twist the can, and then the nachos come out the bottom. It's pretty cool. 
That's a lot. I probably could have just got this and not get anything for dinner. Let's see how much we eat of this. Okay, so as soon as they brought our nachos out, they brought our dinner. I guess they should have waited to order. But I got the pulled pork sandwich and sweet potato fries. Uh, I don't know what bread I got. What, some kind of tacos. What'd you get? Cowboy tacos with pork and sweet potato fries. So some of these boat sunk while we were out here. They started sinking in then and they ended up flipping it. It flipped over. So we left dinner and now we're walking on the big long pier they have out here. Because we ate way back there. So this pier is across the water from where we were. Walk, comes all the way out here.